I spoke with seismologists at the Cascades Volcano Observatory today, and they say that what people saw earlier was not an eruption. It was not venting. It was just a cloud. If it were to erupt or if it were to actively vent, they would have indications of seismic activity coming and would be able to warn people ahead of time. A clear view of Mount Rainier will catch eyes and hearts any day. Oh, something out of a storybook. <laughs> but as Tish and Mark witnessed on their trip to Lake Taps, today it took on a different look. Oh, I got the hat. Saw the hat on there. A hat? Yep. Looked like it had a hat on it to me. Okay. That hat caused quite a commotion as social media erupted with theories. We hit the road right away as I called the experts at Cascades Volcano Observatory. We have right now 17 seismic stations within 12 miles of the volcano. Those stations showed them no signs of venting, which is when steam secretes from cracks or gas gathers in what can look like a cloud. What they saw with their eyes and confirmed with their tools was simply an atmospheric cloud. So that was a lenticular cloud and admittedly it looked like it could have been a steam vent. So he understands why questions took off, but says it was essentially just a sight to see. Where would you rank Mount Rainier in terms of views? <laughs> the top of the list. The top of the list, I agree. And by the end of the day, with the hat or without? Without it returned to the style of a familiar favorite. And the National Park Service tells me if Mount Rainier did vent, what we saw today would have been a huge incident of venting and something that they would have seen indications of seismic activity beforehand. And of course, the USGS and other agencies have reminded people today that you can sign up for volcano alerts so that if something is happening, you get the earliest information you can about it. Erica Zucco, King 5 News. Joyce and Steve, I spoke with seismologists today who say that Mount Rainier is actually one of the best monitored volcanoes in the world. They watch it very closely and they say that if it were to erupt or if it were to actively vent, they would have indications of seismic activity coming and would be able to warn people ahead of time. Today, that was not the case and they used their tools to confirm that what they saw as a cloud was in fact just a cloud.